I'm only doing the first eight levels. This is level one of the Minecraft Escape Academy. Seems easy, right? Take a look at level 64. It's an entire prison in of itself. The map creator Valky River even built a statue of my Minecraft skin, and it looks amazing. The Escape Academy is divided into eight colors, and the levels range from easy to challenging to nearly impossible. So let's get started. Um, alright. The sign says do not break. I guess these are just for reference. There's a chest with four snowballs inside. I'll grab the chest as well as the sand over here. This is so easy. You just have to tower up to the exit and craft snow for the final block. And there we go. Only 63 levels remaining. This'll be a breeze. I found a conspicuous hopper in the corner with some bones. So close yet so easy. What's here? A crafting table and, really, a hidden dropper and some bone meal. Obviously, you gotta make more bone meal so you can craft a bone block. As simple as that. Ah, a classic. Yay, we're trapped in a bedrock cage. Because you can't see anything, I am 99.1% sure you don't know what to do. But then I had a very good idea. I used F5. This brings me back nostalgia. I found a hole. Now, just grab the chest and climb up the cage. Once you collect the trapdoor, head back to the hole. Flip it over to crouch and voila. We're nearly halfway done. The first eight levels, I mean. So I know a lot of people don't like birchwood, but I think it's cool. Please comment hashtag birch is good. And since you have to mine birch, that's what makes the escape room harder. Wait, how does a tree grow on iron? I crafted some planks and other stuff that I would need for a wooden pick. I just ignored that the iron stone and redstone existed and simply towered up to the exit. There was also a moss carpet so I removed it as well as the calcite block. That was cheesed. If you paid attention to the sign on the wall earlier, you would have noticed it said do not break, but not the calcite. Anyway, moving on. Uh, why so many shulker boxes? Do not break any blocks. Really? There's one stick inside of each shulker. I got seven sticks. I believe that's just enough for some ladders. Now, how should we get up? So, I'm sure you can guess that I can use the shulkers as a vertical staircase. We'll just place the ladders like so, climb up, and head to the exit. Let's see, can't break anything again? Man, the red tape. I'll take the nether wart. Ooh, that's a long way down. I like the muddy mangrove roots. Let's increase the FOV to look around and, well, it's a hopper. It's got a phantom membrane. I'm not allowed to break the roots, but I can grab this glass bottle from the brewing stand and use it to collect water from the roots. Then you just brew the potion. I forgot what potion a membrane gives, but we'll just wait here until it's done. So it's slow falling. Obviously, we're gonna drink it and jump. We're now on the penultimate level. Well, technically. All that's here is a crafting table and a calcite door, but I can jump over the table. The chest has two bamboo and an ingot. I'll take that. Can I not break any of these blocks? Hold up. Aha. All right. There's a hallway, and if I head up here, whoop, there's a tripwire and a birch plank. Okay, I have two bamboo to turn into a stick, and I believe that's everything I need for a tripwire hook. So, is it like that? No, the other way. Now we can finish the tripwire, activate it, and ta-da! Oh wait, the level's not over yet. There's a huge staircase, and apparently I'm back at the start. Actually, I only have a chest and a tripwire left, so if I head back, I'm pretty sure I just need a trap chest. Now the only logical thing to do is to place the chest here, activate it, and that's the real exit. It's time for the finale. Upon entering level 8, I spotted a structure in the corner. Inside, there was a crafting table I couldn't reach, and this time, I could break any blocks. In the other corner, there was a hole in the ground. I checked around the room only to find nothing, except an exit in the ceiling. I had no other choice but to go in the hole. Some tinted glass was in the way, so I collected it and went up the spiral staircase. On the other end was two birch planks, which concealed a hidden room. The hopper contained three sticks and two blaze rods, and in the dropper, a lot of balls. I tried crafting a bouncy ball but couldn't, so I resorted to a block of snow. But. When I returned back, I realized I literally had a pearl. 
So I teleported up. No signs blocking the exit and kind of anticlimactic, but either way, the green levels are complete. The map link is down below if you want to try it, and levels 4 and 8 have now been fixed.